as a door and a door is a very essential component in a building so guys today we want to look at how we are going to take off quantities of a door and then we have our matched door here we are going to look at the parts of the door first before we go to the taking off part of it so guys if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe share like comment so that you can help us grow now let's look at the parts of this door we have the top rail the top rail is this one we have the bottom rail the bottom rail is this one we, sorry we have the mid rail this is the mid rail then we have the bottom rail that one down here and then we have the styles these ones and then we have the braces we have two braces this one and this one and then we have the buttons these ones that are running vertical horizontally those ones now those are the the parts sorry vertically so those are the parts that we have for that door now let's look at the door that we want to take off now this is our door we have our section here this is our door if you look at the door we've been told we have in situ lintel on top here and then we have top rail this is our top rail here and then we have our bottom rail and then we have our mid rail and then we have styles style area these ones and then we have a frame 125 by 75 millimeters frame that one there and then we have 25 millimeter stick tng buttons and then we have what again we have 25 by 100 millimeters brace this one now those that is our elevation and then on the section this is how our door our door looks like so we want to we want to find the quantities of those doors we want to take off the quantity they we have been told the the height of the door is 2200 and then the width is 920 now we have this is our our linter as you can see it is projecting from this far it is projecting 200 200 millimeters now let's start so we are starting by using the items to measure we have the door frame we have the arch strips quadrant model door leaf painting linter we have the concrete reinforcement and then formwork that is holding the concrete we have iron mortgagery adjustments plaster that is plaster paint cutting and then we have floor floor finishes yeah if you look at this we have like thick 25 millimeters thick screed and then yeah so those are the items that we are going to look at so let's start with the door frame so our door frame is is here let's look at our door frame so this is our door frame here the tiny the tiny part that is we are seeing here this one here vertically this is our door frame so for a door frame it looks like this we have this one this length sorry yeah this with it and then the the height and then you find that the door frame it has horns these are horns that are projecting to the to the walls now we have from here up to here is 920 and then the horns we can say they are projecting 100 so this is 100 and this is 100 actually this is what i've demonstrated have illustrated here and then when we are placing the the frame it does not coincide with the with the door it has to go all the slab the level here it has to get into into the ground a bit so between 750 to 75 millimeters so in this case we are going to use 75 millimeters so we are going to add a height of 75 millimeters now let's find the total length we have 100 plus 920 plus 100 plus 2100 this side 2100 this side 2100 and then plus 75 and then plus 75 that is giving us 5.57 5470 that is 4.7 meters so that is the total length of the door so let's book that door we book it in linear meter that is 5.47 and then our size of the frame was 125 by 75 so it's 125 by 75 millimeters hardwood 
door frame, upper sun, prepare and apply three coats of primer coat before before fixing. Of course, you must paint your, your door frame before you fix it. So that is the how we get the quantity of the of the door frame. Now let's go to the arch tray. Arch tray is this part here that is it's coinciding with the with the door frame. Actually, it is mostly used to it is mostly used to 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 ensure that the casing is well the door the door frame casing and then it adds a thickness to the to the window so it it's adding a thickness if you look at the thickness of now the frame it has increased so the the arch tree they share the same the same dimension with the door frame so we are booking it in linear meter so we have the length of 2100 and then the width of 920 so this is by two because it's this side and and the other side but the the width it is is one so we have 2.10 by 2 and then we have 0 0.92 and then you say 20 by 40 millimeters hard food arch trim so guys those that is how you take off the two items see you on the next video as we continue with the with the taking off